Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Color Bump 3D. Before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as I put out videos daily. This game came out around Christmas. If you've been watching the App Store like I have, it's been number one. It's still there. I don't think it's going anywhere. I tried to play this game earlier when it first came out. I have an iPhone 6. It just wasn't working. It wasn't working for me, three other people, but it was working for like seven other people. Looks like they updated it and fixed it. And so now we can play the game. Hopefully you played Color Bump. The first game it used to be called Color Trouble. I have a video of that as well. Great game, simple mechanics. Let's just jump into this game. I believe it was made with Unity. It's very bare bones. Good job. Games has been do doing a good job with getting their games up to the App Store. Cutting out the bullshit and just getting good gameplay that people enjoy. Swipe to start. Cool particle effects following the ball. Everybody likes 3D stuff. 3D stuff, I think, is slowly just making more of an impact. I don't think 3D is necessary, but I definitely do think people dig it. So, you know, it's important to pay attention to these things. First level, super easy. I feel like that should have... Oh, that was game. Level complete. All right, let's get to the second stage. So... One thing I think is important to know in this game is it's pretty, pretty simple right now. The game starts off very easy. If I touch anything that's not a white color, I will lose. It's, you know... Ooh, do you see the ball change from three-dimensional to two-dimensional there? Okay, so, it's, so you can move the ball around. And also notice that there is a progression bar at the top. I've mentioned this many times, but top App Store games generally have a progression bar. People like to know how they're progressing. They like to know if the end is near or, or not. And so that's why the progression bar is really important. And it looks like the game starts off pretty slow. It looks like, looks like some kind of wake-up spawners that causes the blocks ahead to move go into an unexpected direction. In a case like this, you definitely want to move your ball up as much as you can to cause the colors that would kill you to go ahead and move so that you can move back and then keep going. This is you know, basically left, right, but it's cool. Because everything is three-dimensional, you have to be careful how you move shit around and also specifically how you get around. And if you just notice that big white ball, my character went underneath the ball. So you, you got to pay attention to this. Ooh, look at these colors. I'm all about colors. I don't know. I feel like somebody would call these colors masculine. I don't necessarily. I, I, I think there's, you know, there's like, pa oh, shit, I'm fucked. Oh, shit, damn. All right, let's do this again. I think there are colors that are masculine and then the, then there are colors that are feminine. And I would generally describe feminine colors leaning a little bit more towards the pastel. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be pastel, but definitely a masculine color is it's, it's dominant. Like this red, is pr it's red. You know, it's, strong, it's a strong red. Even, even the yellows would be. So, you know, when you're picking colors for your game, all this stuff should always be taken into consideration. Oh, no, uh. Oh crap, okay, let's see. Yay, oh, skill. See, that's just me being amazing. Okay, I'm good. Stage seven. Ooh, it's cool to watch the gravity of the objects in a three dimensional space. I think this is probably one of the things that people enjoy about this game being in 3D. The, the 2D game also did very well in. Oh shit, give me, give me. Oh, I want to move that big. Uh, I wanted to move that big object around. Watching the three-dimensional objects move around in space with gravity and physics is just kind of fun for the eye to see. People want to see that. People can interact with this. Add that with simple gameplay, cool colors. Like now I would say this color is more feminine. How that works, the core concept here is the more feminine 
the colors are, I believe the more women will play your game. Then on top of that, men play games all the time. Women play games not as much as men. Women are also like the quickest adopters after nerds when it comes to tech stuff and games and things like that. So being able to make a game that appeals to a wider audience, probably a good idea. I really like this color. I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this color because I like it. Specific, oh shit. Specifically the blue and the red. Like it's that blue, red, purple. I don't even know. It's like a blue, purple, reddish. Do you get fascinated by cool colors just like me? Let me know. It's probably just me. Okay, so I gotta be careful here. So this is, a, so now you can see the game is, who I, wow, got lucky there. You can see that the game is slowly progressing to get more difficult, be more challenging. And honestly, I'm surprised I'm able to do this. My phone is pretty slow. And you could see the graphics like kind of hitting hardcore right there, like maybe not wanting to work. It totally got me through it. Stage nine. We got cool particles following the main character. And you can see once I start moving a lot of things around. Oh shit, come on. Get <sighs> once I start moving a lot of things around, it definitely pushes my processors. I have an iPhone 6, so you know it can only handle so much. I like moving shit all the way up, like, uh, oh, but then you don't pay attention to the little pieces that can kill you. Okay. That Q piece isn't heavy enough, okay, so these pieces apparently have weight or mass or density or whatever you want to call it to them, and you have to be careful because if you hit it too fast, then they fly up in the air. Okay, so uh, let's, let's try this again. Tap and push is the... The methodology we're going to use to try to get past this level. Tap and push, tap and push, tap and push. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now watch out, watch out. We got to watch out because we lost control of our main shield. And now I'm curious what happens here. I think I got to go fast. Okay, cool. That was easy enough. That was cool. Did you see how the level kind of loaded right there? I like that. When you see the level low, that's just kind of fun because you know you're in for an excitement. It's technically like a wait, oh wait, I gotta focus. Damn, I got lucky, okay. Not luck, that was skill. I don't believe in luck. It's true, I don't believe in luck, but. Just like that. So this is Colorbump 3D. I will definitely keep playing this game just to see how the levels are made and what they look like. And while mainly the color is white, I hope that further down the colors change and keep the players on their toes, keep you on your toes, keep me on my toes. That being said, this game, is, I think this game is simple and fun and that's probably why it's number one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Links down below for the game. I will see you next time.